Hi, Jeannie here from a Jeannie in the Kitchen. Um, this is video number two. Uh, video number one went really well, so this is video number two. Today, yet another simple, easy peasy meal. Uh, we're gonna do a steak Caesar salad. Um, a Caesar salad was actually named after the actor Caesar Romero from the 50s back in Hollywood years and years ago. We're gonna do it a little bit different than he than they did it for him. Um, and they're very versatile, but it's also 95 degrees out right now, so a salad was perfect. So, normally, a I have everything set up. This is called my mise en place. A mise en place means everything in place. Basically, everything is all ready. So I have everything here that I'm gonna need, everything that I'm gonna use. Normally, a Caesar salad is made with romaine lettuce, but I'm actually making it with red leaf lettuce today. So as you see, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna do this as a tossed salad. So um, normally, we have croutons that I made up earlier. I will put that on the blog, um, on, on my blog, genieinthekitchen.com. Uh, it's just some old stale bread that I had that I tossed in some olive oil with some garlic and a little cayenne pepper, gave it a little a spice and salt, and then I baked it for about 15 minutes until they got crunchy. Um, I have some Parmesan cheese that I'm going to shave. You'll see that in just a little bit. Some red onions, tomatoes. I already cooked my eggs. I did some hard-boiled eggs. Um, to, wait, to make the perfect egg, you get your bot, your you put your eggs in the water, get your water to a rapid boil, and then boil for 12 minutes, um, and then they will turn out perfect all the time. And then I've got all my ingredients here for my salad dressing. It's just a real simple salad dressing, um, and we're going to uh, it's olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice, a little Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, and Dijon mustard. That's all we're gonna do for our salad dressing. So, uh, let's go ahead and make our dressing first. Um, you can see, this is how I normally cook. I don't usually measure things, but I will tell you about how much I'm gonna use. So, about a third of a cup of olive oil. About a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a little kick. I like things nice and peppery, so I'm going to put in probably a little over a teaspoon or a heaping teaspoon of black pepper. I don't like it too salty, and the lemon juice and the mustard are going to make it kind of salty as well, so I'm not going to add too much more. Just a little bit, maybe a teaspoon. About two, table, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. I like garlic. So we're going to put in about a tablespoon of garlic. I like everything garlicky. And about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then we're just going to whisk everything together and that's it. That's all we need to do for our dressing. So there you go. And we're just going to whisk it all together until everything is emulsified. It's going to be kind of tart, kind of tangy, and that's what you want. A traditional um, Caesar salad dressing has anchovies in it. I don't like anchovies. We don't put anchovies in there. Salad dressing is done. We're going to set that aside for right now. We've got the steak on the grill. That's going to take about four minutes per side for a nice medium rare. They're, they're a thinner steak. They're only about an inch thick, so it's not going to take too long at all. And we're just going to kind of chop this lettuce. Easy peasy. All right, we're gonna put that in the bowl. We're just, like I said, this is gonna be a tossed salad. So we're just gonna put everything together and toss it up and then serve it. So we've got some red onions. We're gonna slice it nice and thin. Um, red onion is very powerful. So you just want it nice and thin. Yes, I have cut myself and burned myself many times. You get used to it. It hasn't been in a while, but I have done it. When I first went to culinary school, my dad was scared to death. He thought I was gonna cut off all my fingers. Uh, well, that was quite a few years ago, and I still have all 10 fingers, so I'm still good. All right, so our onion slices are nice and thin. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. We're just going to put everything in there together and toss it all up. 
We're gonna add our, our toasted breadcrumb, our croutons. And I like a variety of tomatoes, so I have the small little grape tomatoes and Kumata tomatoes and uh, just a wide variety, you get them in the store. I mix and match my tomatoes all the time. I love tomatoes. In the summertime, uh, we eat a lot of tomatoes. And we're just gonna slice them in half. The bigger ones I'll probably quarter. These are nice and ripe and they're gonna be really flavorful. I love tomatoes. My favorite tomatoes, I'm not using them today, are the uh, heirloom tomatoes. But today, we're just using the other ones. So we're gonna put those in as well. So we've got everything in here. I'm gonna toss it just a second. Um, if we have extra dressing, that's fine. Uh, as, traditionally, a Caesar salad does not have a lot of dressing. I'm kind of a saucy girl. I like a lot of sauce on things. I like a lot of dressings. Use it to your discretion. But traditionally, they're kind of lightly seasoned, lightly uh, have a light dressing on them. And it looks like my cameraman has his helper with him today. So I'm just pouring the dressing on. And we're going to toss it all up. good. It's nice and colorful and fresh. And we're just going to dish it up on the plate. Basically, our salad is done. I've got the steaks on the grill. Like I said, they're about an inch thick, so they're going to take oh, about total about seven minutes. So we've got our croutons, we've got our tomatoes, our onions, our lettuce, and our Caesar dressing, minus the anchovies, because we're not big anchovy people. Now, if you want, you can easily eat it just like this, no problem. Caesar salads are very popular the world over. Like I said, they were made popular back in the 1950s by Caesar Romero, um, or for Caesar Romero, either one. So you can eat it just like that. They're traditionally served with the Parmesan cheese. Um, I'm gonna shave it, and I am old school and old fashioned. I like my old cheapy um, potato peeler. These work the best for me. Yes, I have the fancy ones. I have quite a few of them actually. I don't really care for them. I'm much better with these. So you're just gonna shave them. It's, it's a hard cheese, which is what you want. So shave them nice and thin. I'm not gonna put cheese on mine. That's why I didn't toss it in. Larry likes cheese on his, but I'm not a big cheese eater. And you can use as much cheese as you want. You can use shredded cheese too, that's fine. Either way, um, but in some of your nicer restaurants, they use the, the, block, the lock, block Parmesan. Just cut it so it's a little smaller, and you're just gonna put it all over your salad. Like I said, you can toss it in, or you can put it on the top, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna slice up our steak, our steak is done. You wanna slice it at an angle, thin slices. Um, it's a little bit too cooked for me. I like it nice and pink, but as we get closer to the center, it's it's getting more and more pink. But you want it nice and thin. Um, cut them at an angle, cut against the grain. Now it's looking good. I mean, it's really just a personal preference. It, there's no right or wrong way, but the more medium rare it is, the more tender it's gonna be, the more juicy it's gonna be. So, um, meaning it's, and it's also gonna be a lot more flavorful that way too. So we've got our thin strips of our steak, and we're just gonna lay them on top of, of the, the salad. Presentation, presentation, presentation. All right. And we like eggs on ours, so I've already peeled one egg, and I'm just gonna slice it and put it right on top. Easy peasy. Again, like I said, it's all about presentation. And voila, that one is done. 
So, like I said, when you boil your eggs, you want them to boil for 20 minutes in a rapid boil, or for 12 minutes, excuse me, 12, not 20, at a rapid boil. Um, the best way to peel them is when they're still a little bit warm. Um, at least I find everybody's got their own different ways and different techniques and stuff, but kind of tap them lightly on a firm surface. Kind of roll them a little bit. That's going to break the, the shell, kind of break the skin a little bit, loosen everything up. And I have a trash bag right here. I'm just going to pull it up because I don't really want eggshells all over my kitchen floor or my counter as I just put them on there. And it just peels off really easy. And I usually rinse them uh, just to make sure that I get all the shells off as well. I don't like eating eggshells. They don't. I like crunchy and I like texture, but I don't like eating eggshells. All right. So let me just rinse this real quick. And our salads are done. Again, I'm just going to slice it real quick and spread it out over. And our salads are done. So now what we're going to do, major decision, and you can go either way. You know I like my wines and I like my wines with dinner. Do I go with red because it's steak? Or do I go with white because it's a salad? Either one. You can do your whatever you like. This is a red mar Malbec. It's an Argentine Malbec. I love Malbecs. Goes great with steak. And this is my uh, favorite um, local wine from our local wine reinventions here in Colorado. And it's a barrel aged Chenin Blanc. So it's um, not as light as a regular Chardonnay Blanc, and it's uh, more golden and more buttery like a Chardonnay, so it's a really good combination. I'm going to go with white because, well, like I said, it's 95 degrees out, and um, I'd rather be cool, so either one works. So, what we're going to do now, and our meal will be complete, um, let me just get my cutting board, we're just going to have some bread. Well, we've got our, our garlic roasted bread. I'll slice that. I'm not going to do that right now, but what I'm going to do, we like, we're going to do it with a dipping sauce. Really easy to do. A little garlic on each. Just a little tiny bit. little tiny bit. Maybe half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. We like it nice and flavorful. Add a little pepper, black pepper. You can add roasted garlic if you want instead of the, the regular garlic. You can add uh, pepper flakes. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, we like a little balsamic vinegar in it. Again, it's a preference, whatever you like. It's no big deal. And this is, Sp this is olive oil, extra virgin olive oil we brought from Spain. And we're running out. Oh, darn. We might have to go back to Spain and get some more. And our dipping sauce for our bread is done. So we've got our Caesar salads. We're going to slice up some bread. We've got our dipping sauce and our wine. And we are set. Once again, I'm Jeannie from A Genie in the Kitchen. If you like what you see, you can find me at ageniinthekitchen.com. And all of this will be on my blog tomorrow. Cheers.